Hey guys, and welcome to the video. Here today, I'm actually redoing a video that I did back in September 28th of 2017. I'm gonna show you how to install Aldo's PS3 Tools Collection into your PC. Now, about a year or maybe more after I did this video, I believe is when the first Hen came out, which was actually called Han. And since then, a lot of people have joined the PS3 hacking modding scene thanks to Hen, and these tools I think are essential for anyone to have who likes to mess around with their PS3s. And so this is going to show you how to install them into your PC because it can get kind of tricky. I'm also going to be doing a set of tutorials over the next week or so regarding the PS3 where some of the tools that are in here will actually come in handy. And even though this tool set is labeled as 4.81, anything that you do with any of these tools will work on any firmware version of any PS3 that has either custom firmware installed or HEN installed. So the firmware doesn't matter, the stuff will still work. All right, and another thing is that I won't be showing you how to use the tools in here because there's a ton of them. I'm just showing you how to set everything up. And before we get started, don't forget guys to make sure you like the video because when you like these videos, it goes a really long way into keeping me motivated to keep bringing you all kinds of content on the channel, including tutorials like this and news and information and a bunch of other stuff. It really does keep me inspired to keep doing all of this stuff for you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so down in the description, there'll be a couple of places where you can download this zip file from. It's called Aldo's PS3 Tools Install, kmz.zip. Open it up. Once you've downloaded it, take out the folder that's there, put it to your desktop. When we go into it, you will also find written instructions for pretty much everything we'll be covering here today. So I'm gonna open that and just leave them up on the screen. Now in here, you will also find the installer itself, the .exe. I suggest you run it as administrator and then just keep hitting yes and okay install it to wherever it is you like. You can leave the default location or pick a different one. It's totally up to you. Now, your antivirus may be triggered. I assure you they are false positives. Uh, people in the community have been using these tools for years, including developers. But if you like, you can get the executable straight from here. I'll put a link in the description. Just click on download now and you'll download those four point. 81 tool collection, the same one that I have for you here. So you could do it that way as well, if you like. Now I already have this tool set installed. So again, just make sure you run as administrator, keep hitting yes and okay until the tools have installed. All right, now after that's done installing, go to the location where the tools installed to. In my case, I just left in the default C location then in the users folder and then my main user. When you go to the location, you'll see the PS3 tools folder there, click into it. Then you'll see another PS3 tools folder, go into that and then you'll see various files. Now in the past, I have had issues where certain tools within the tools collection do not function because it's missing a certain file. I've provided that file for you or some of those files. If you come back here to the folder that you extracted from the zip file that you got down in the description, go into folder one, and there is the msvbvm50.dll. Now you can use the one I provided for you, which is totally clean, or you can go looking for that file somewhere online. It's posted in a bunch of different places. Just make sure you get it from somewhere safe. Then go ahead and copy it, and you're gonna paste it right here. And see, I've already done it, it's right there. Then go into to the tools folder and then paste it here and you can see it's right there and then lastly go into the brute force save data folder and then paste it in here and you can see it's right there so that might be overkill but i've put it into those three places and it avoids a little pop-up that you may get when you use some of the tools that says that this msv bvm 50.dll file is missing and then the tool won't work by doing this i've prevented those errors from popping up all right, so once you're done with that, we're gonna come back here to this folder, the one you extracted from the zip file. You're gonna go this time now into folder number two. You're gonna grab the three main files, which are the two DLL files and the one .exe file, and you're going to copy all three, 
and then you're going to come back over here and let's back out once and right here in the ps3 tools folder you will see this one called sce tool go into that folder and paste all three of those files right here as you can already see i already have them there there's one here's two and then here is the other one now we are at this point done having to copy and paste files we're going to test some things out and if they don't work i will show you what to do next uh, before we continue, and this is just a recommendation, you can start making shortcuts to some of the tools you'll be using a lot, or you can come he back here whenever you want and make shortcuts for the things that you use the most. I don't mess with PS3 stuff all that much anymore, but before, for example, let's go back here. I made a shortcut to this, the paramsfo editor.exe, and I will put that on my desktop so I had it there. I also associated SFO files with it because pretty much all the SF, uh, SFO files I came across were just PS3 ones. But you know, there's also PS Vita and PS4 ones, so it's up to you whether you wanna associate those files strictly with this Param SFO editor. Anyway, um, yeah, but I did that. The other thing is I went to brute force save data folder, and then I came here to the brute force save data.exe, and I made a shortcut to that, uh, to my desktop as well. Then in addition to that, let's see, I came here. And when you're here, if you click on PS3 tools menu, you're faced with all of these tools that are here, or at least the main menu of many of these tools right there. So I made a shortcut to this on my desktop. And then lastly, this PS3 tools folder, the whole entire thing, I just made a shortcut for that as well. You may not have to do all of those. It just depends how involved you're going to be with these tools and which ones you're going to use, but it's just a recommendation. Okay, so next, go ahead and go into the PS3 tools folder and go ahead and click on that file I just clicked on, the PS3 tools menu.exe, and make sure that the menu pops up and you will see many of the various tools right here. And then just, you know, click into some of them just to make sure they launch, like a uh, package content ID. All right, there we go. That one launches. Let's go into uh, multi man tools. And then here we have more stuff. Let's go into MMTM GUI. This is the theme creator theme editor. So that's good. And let's do one more. Let's hit back to main menu. Let's go into brute force tools. And there we go. And let's do SE tool GUI. All right, and there's that. Okay, so we know this part is working. Next, let's test one of the most important things, which is the .pkg files association. All right, guys, so now I suggest you grab yourself a small package file. I, for example, have the Managuns version 1.38 package file here. This is the latest release of Managuns. It's only about 15 megabytes. Don't choose a really big file. Choose a really small one. The smaller, the better. I also made a folder here called test, but this is completely up to you if you want to do this. I'm going to take the package file and put it into that test folder. Let's go into it. And there's that package file right there. Now at this point, if everything went smoothly, when you right click on a package file, you should see a new entry in your context menu and it should say PKG tools. And then a new window will open up with many options, including the extract to current path. So what you wanna do is just that, go ahead and click that, should only take about a few seconds or so, and then everything should be extracted. There we go, it's done, and here is the extracted folders and all that good stuff, so we're good to go. Now, if you do not have this in your context menu, then there's a couple of things that we need to do. If you do have it, Make sure you keep watching because along the way here, I'm going to give the rest of you um, some more tips and whatever in order to maybe make things a little bit easier for you and to make other things work that you might run into trouble with down the road. OK, so if it's not working, head back to your PS3 tools folder where they installed to. And then we are going to go into the tools folder. 
And when you're here, you're going to look for registry patches folder. It's right there. Go into it. And then you're going to look for a file called remove PS3 tools file associations dot reg, which is this one right here. Now, in case you want to look at it, you can open it up with any notepad program so you can see there's nothing malicious or anything like that in it. OK, then you're going to double click it after you double click it and you just let it do its thing. Come back out. And then you're going to look for the package content ID.exe, which is right here. You're going to go ahead, right click on it, go to properties, go to compatibility and make sure you run it as administrator. Then click apply and OK. Then you're going to double click on it. Make sure it opens, then close it. You're going to do the same thing for package view.exe, which is right underneath. Highlight it, right click, go to properties, compatibility, set as administrator, hit apply, hit OK, and then double click it, close it again. Let's go ahead and minimize this. Go back to where the package file was and right click on it and see if the package tools pops up. You might have to reboot your PC. I really don't think you have to, but try it just in case and then see if it pops up when you right click on a package file. If it doesn't, let's proceed to the next step. And this is also the step that may benefit some of you out there who may use things like brute force as well. So that way you don't run into a problem. Okay, so for this next step, we need to get to our advanced system settings. I don't know if you'll be able to see it uh, from down here where I'm typing it, but just go to the search bar and type it. You don't even have to finish typing it and it should show up right there. Advanced system settings. It's in the control panel. Uh, I think in Windows 7, you would go through the control panel to get to it as well. And it pretty much looks identical to this, uh, but I'm using it here in Windows 10. So once you're here in the advanced system settings, go to the advanced tab, then look at the performance section and go into the settings box. Now go into the data execution prevention tab. Okay. As you can see, I already have a couple of things set up there. This will help you for those of you who are going to use brute force save data to hopefully not run into a problem either. Let's click on add and you should see this should be empty. And by the way, this bottom button is the one that should be turned on. Okay. So let's click on add and then you're simply going to navigate to the package content id.exe file. So go to where your PS3 tools installed to, then you're going to go into the tools folder and then look for that um, package content ID. Okay. There it is right there. And you're just going to hit open and it should add it. And then if you plan on using brute force save data, go into the brute force save data folder. And just to be on the safe side, select the brute force save data.exe, hit open, and it should add it as well. Then put a check mark next to each box, click apply, and then click OK. Now, at this point, you may need to reboot your system. The other thing I would advise you to do is to once again go into your PS3 tools, find that package content ID.exe, open it, and then close it and do this before you reboot, okay? And then reboot. Now go back into your um, folder or wherever you had that package file at that you were testing with, right click on it. And at this point, you should have your package tools here in the context menu and you should have all those options. All right, guys, so if for some reason at this point you still don't have those package tools in your context menu, you can do one last ditch effort to try and get them to pop up in the instructions I'm going to include. You would then come to step number seven and just follow these steps. You'll need to temporarily disable your UAC in Windows. Now I put a link here on how to do it in Windows seven. I don't want this video just to go on forever, but uh, the how to geek shows you a fairly easy way on how to do it. And Windows 10 is even easier still. Just type registry edit 
in the uh, search bar down below in the lower left corner, then go to this location and in the enable LUA file, just change it to zero and then reboot your system. Whichever one of these two you do, you'll need to reboot your system. Then go to the package content ID.exe and just like we did a minute ago, open it, then close it and then go to that package file, right click, and your package tools should be there. And if you see them, great, then all you need to do is re-enable UAC, just do exactly what you did, but backwards, and then re-enable it. So for Windows 10, you would go here and then just set this back to one, reboot your system, and after you re-enable it, when you go back to the package file, the package tools should still remain in your context menu. And that is gonna do it, guys. If for some reason you still can't get it to work and to pop up, there's an external uh, program that you can use. I think it's called Package Resigner or something like that. We're gonna be talking about it soon. So we'll cover it then, and then you'll just have to use that. All right, so I appreciate you watching. If this helped you in any way, shape, or form, if you found it informative, useful, or you just wanna throw some love or appreciation to the channel, you guys know that the absolute best way to do any of that and to keep me motivated to keep doing all this stuff for you guys is just to hit the like button super simple maybe subscribe if you haven't already much love going out there to everyone be careful be safe but have fun and we will see you on the next one